Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about solving rational equations or a solvage equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, 6 over p equals 1 over p minus 5 minus p plus 4 over p squared minus 5p. Okay, well, what I'm going to do here is I need to see, okay, how can I combine these two? And I see that p squared minus 5p. I think I could factor that out. So I have p plus 4 over there, over, if I just factor a plus of p, I have p minus uh, 5 there, right? And so what I can do now, to make it the same denominator, p times p minus 5, I have to multiply the numerator by p, and 1 times p is p. So now we have the same denominator, right? p over p is just that 1, and I have p minus 5 right there, and I have 6 over p here. So now what I'm going to do is, well, I can combine the two. The denominator is still p times p minus 5, but the numerator is p minus p minus, keep the uh, subtraction distributing, minus 4, okay? And then we have 6 over p on the left. In the right hand, underneath, we have p times p minus 5, which I'm now going to multiply on both sides, p times p minus 5, times p times p minus 5. Multiply that to both sides. Let's do it over 1. Why not? That cancels out this here, cancels out this p, and if I distributed that across, 6 times p is 6p, and 6 times 5 is 30. So 6p minus 30 equals p minus p, which is 0, and we have a negative 4 right there. So if I add a 30 to both sides, I'm left with, well, 6p equals negative 4 plus 30, which comes out to be a uh, positive 26, divided by 6. And p here by itself, we can simplify 26 divided by 6, both are divisible by 2, is 13 over 3. So now I need to do my check. So I'm going to rewrite my equation right here, check, with 13 over 3 and for p. So I have 6 over 13 over 3 equals 1 over 13 over 3 minus 5 minus 13 over 3 plus 4 over 13 over 3 squared minus 5 times 13 over 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my calculator to help me out here. So I have 6 divided by 13 divided by 3, and I have uh, a fraction of 18 thirds here. This one here, that 1 over, I'm going to simplify the denominator, 13 divided by 3, minus 5, and our fraction here is a negative 2 thirds, minus 13 over 3, the numerator there, plus 4 is a fraction of 25 thirds, the numerator. The denominator, I'm going to do this whole denominator at once. 13 divided by 3 squared comes out to be 18.777 repeating, minus 5 times 13 divided by 3. And that fraction comes out to be negative 26 over 9. So let's go simplify everything. We'll keep this 18 thirds right here. And then 1 divided by negative 2 thirds, I believe is at negative 3 halves, but we'll double check here. 1 divided by 2 divided by 3 is 3 halves. Yes, a negative 3 halves is correct. Minus here. And what's 25 thirds divided by uh, a negative 26 ninths? And we have here a negative 75 over 26. Okay. Well, that becomes plus a positive. So... Uh, times it by negative 1, and we add that uh, plus a negative 3 halves, and that comes out to be right here an 18 thirds, or 18 over 13, sorry, and we have 18 over 13 right there, and my left and right hand side were equal. Fantastic. Confirming that P equals 13 over 3 is my final answer. It's not extraneous. So let's recap. We're given 6 over p equals 1 over p minus 5 minus p plus 4 over p squared minus 5 times p. What I did is found a common base, then I can combine them. And in doing so, since I combine them, I can now multiply p times p minus 5 both sides. And that eliminated a lot, leaving me 6, oh, I distributed 6p minus 30 equals negative 4. And then added a 30 to both sides, divided by 6, and so we're finding that p equals 13 over 3. I then had to check it, so I plugged 13 over 3 back into my equation. And then I used my calculator when I uh, saw the fraction work here, just kind of show the steps there. Uh, simplify, 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 leaving me 18 thirds on the left, uh, 13 on the left, which I'm probably, I believe I said 18 thirds a lot. 
but it's 18 over 13 right there, is equal to 18 over 13 on the right. They are equal, confirming that uh, our answer is not extraneous, and my final answer is P equals 13 over 